हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्ट्रीम ऑपरेटर ओवरलोडिंग यूजिंग फ्रेंड फंक्शन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट दीज इन्फॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड माय ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द सिंटेक्स ऑफ स्ट्रीम ऑपरेटर ओवरलोडिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑपरेटर इज इंसेशन ऑपरेटर इन दिस डेफिनेशन फ्रेंड इज अ की वर्ड स्ट्रीम रेफरेंस इज यूज फॉर रिटर्न टाइप here o stream is name of class it is predefined class then operator keyword then symbol insertion then o stream reference and then object reference inside this curly brace body of the function will be provided then another function is for extraction operator again friend uh, is a keyword then i stream reference uh, will be returned i stream is again uh, name of class it is predefined class operator keyword then symbol extraction then i stream reference and object reference will be received here inside curly braces definition will be provided so o stream stands for uh, output stream and i stream stands for input stream these classes are predefined so for stream operator overloading we have to use these predefined classes now i am going to explain this uh, syntax with the help of example so here complex classes defined in uh, in which real and imaginary two attributes are declared then uh, first method uh, which is overloading extraction operator is declared uh, friend i stream reference operator keyword extraction operator then it will receive two references one for i stream and another for complex then second method for insertion it is similar to extraction then third plus it will return complex uh, object and it will receive two arguments of complex type now definition of first method which is extraction so return type is i stream reference then operator is keyword it is uh, symbol then first argument will be received inside in and second argument will be received inside c so c out will print enter real value so you have to notice that uh, i have replaced c in with in so this in will be receiving uh, reference of c in so first i am going to take you in uh, definition of main function see this statement c in extraction operator c1 so the first time uh, you are seeing this statement uh, where object is uh, received with the help of c in uh and with the help of extraction operator so uh, previously we have used uh, read or input methods for this purpose but in this program i have used scene with c1 means object of user defined class so for this purpose i have to overload this operator so it is receiving n uh, n is receiving reference of scene and c is receiving reference of c1 so i have used in here which is receiving c dot real value and this in is receiving c dot imaginary value then return statement will return reference of n to the main function similarly insertion operator is defined it is uh, receiving reference of c out and c will be receiving reference of uh, object which is used with c out statement so in place of c out we can use out here to print values on console so we are using call by reference here so in case of call by reference the formal argument represents actual argument so we can replace uh, c in with in and c out with out and at last reference of out is returned here then this function uh, is already discussed in my tutorial which is related to operator overloading with friend function so uh, c1 and c2 real and imaginary values are added and stored inside temp object so this is this uh, operator function is also based upon friend that's why all arguments are received explicitly so this uh, statement i have already explained it is also related to uh, above statement c in extraction operator c2 then c3 equals to c1 plus c2 it will call uh, this method and last statement c out uh, insertion op operation c3 this will call 
this definition so friends in these statements uh, where, where, wherever we are calling a function whether it is insertion extraction or plus we want to pass all the arguments explicitly that's why these uh, methods are defined with the help of friend functions so whenever you want to pass uh, implicit and explicit arguments uh, as explicit then we have to convert our function as friend function so this is uh, all about stream operator overloading using friend function so do implement this program in your uh, laptop so that you can understand the concept well thank you for watching this video